Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose x is a non-zero real number, and x plus 1 over x is an integer. Then, for all natural numbers n, x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is an integer as well. Okay, now we're trying to prove a statement about all natural numbers. So, we're going to use induction. More specifically, we're going to use strong induction. Now, to use strong induction, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n. And we assume that for all natural numbers k less than n, we have that x to the k plus 1 over x to the k is an integer. The whole goal from here is to show that this is also true for n. That is, we want to show that x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is an integer as well. Now, to show that, we're going to break this up into three cases. Either n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, or n is greater than or equal to 2. Let's start with a case where n is equal to 0. In the case that n is equal to 0, we want to show that x to the 0 plus 1 over x to the 0 is an integer. Well, if we write that out, we know that x to the 0 is just 1, and 1 plus 1 is just 2, and 2 is an integer. So this tells us that x to the 0 plus 1 over x to the 0 is an integer, as required. So this completes the case where n is equal to 0. Now let's move on to the case where n is equal to 1. In the case where n is equal to 1, we want to show that x to the 1 plus 1 over x to the 1 is an integer. Well, if we write that out, well, we know that x to the 1 is just equal to x. And x plus 1 over x is an integer, because that's what we're given right here. So this tells us that x to the 1 plus 1 over x to the 1 is an integer. So this completes the case where n is equal to 1. We have one more case left to check. And that is the case where n is greater than or equal to 2. And as you can imagine, this is going to be the non-trivial case. Now in this case, again, the whole goal is to show that x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is an integer. Now, to show that it's true, let's consider the following product. Consider multiplying these two guys together. If we do that, if we expand this out, we're going to get this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this. And now, applying our rules of exponents, we know that x to the n minus 1 times x is equal to x to the n. x to the n minus 1 times 1 over x is just x to the n minus 1 divided by x. And our rules from exponents tell us that this is going to be equal to x to the n minus 2. As for this guy, we're doing x divided by x to the n minus 1. And as you can imagine, this is just the reciprocal of this guy. So this is going to be the reciprocal of x to the n minus 2. And as for this guy, we're just multiplying the denominators. We know that x to the n minus 1 times x is equal to x to the n. So at this point, we have shown that this guy is equal to this guy. And notice we have x to the n plus 1 over x to the n in our work. And remember, we want to show that x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is an integer. Well, if we take this equation and solve for x to the n plus 1 over x to the n, all we got to do is subtract these two guys to the other side. And if we do that, we're going to get this. And let's just take what we have here and factor out a negative 1. Right, so just like that. Now we know that x plus 1 over x is an integer, but it turns out these two guys are integers as well. All we got to do is apply our induction hypothesis. Right? Turns out n minus 1 and n minus 2 are both natural numbers less than n. Therefore, this must be true for n minus 1 and n minus 2.
So, all three of these guys are integers. And we know if we do an integer times an integer minus an integer, the result is an integer. And this tells us that x to the n plus 1 over x to the n must be an integer. And this completes our final case. So let's put this all together now. We use strong induction in order to show that this statement is true. The way we did that was we gave ourselves an arbitrary natural number, n, and assumed for all natural numbers k less than n, that this is true. We proceeded to show that this must also be true for n. Right, in all three cases, we showed that this is true. And so that closes the strong induction. So strong induction tells us that this must be true for all natural numbers n. And so we've proven exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.